Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Brony from Cambrotech. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn Bootstrap. So the prerequisites for learning Bootstrap is general or basic understanding of HTML and CSS. So you need to know the various tags and how they are used. I have a video on HTML and CSS, I'll link in the description below so that you take a look at it. So to the interaction, Bootstrap is a popular framework for building responsive and mobile first websites. What this first statement means is we are using Bootstrap and it is a framework, it is a front end framework, and we are using it to build responsive and mobile first websites. So, normally, one of the main requirements as far as websites these days are concerned is um, you would want to have a website that's responsive. Now, Bootstrap is a front end framework, like I've already mentioned. After the installation of Bootstrap, you may or you may not need internet. And it is easy to learn so then why then should anyone bother learning bootstrap now first of all it is a framework which means a lot of things have been done for you and it is easy to learn that leads to the second point which increases your productivity now when you use bootstrap a lot of the work has been done for you so you have to learn how to use it it's as simple as that it has a large community so therefore if you have um, a problem if you are stuck somewhere obviously you can uh, jump onto stack overflow or any other random website and you find some help one way or the other now it is customizable and i should also mention that it is extensible so the package that has been given to you by bootstrap you can customize it or you can extend it and add your own classes and things of that sort now it handles the difficult aspect of front-end web development and we are going to see examples very soon now as far as installations are concerned there are several ways of killing a cat here there is the first one which you can download the source file so that you get a css and a javascript and you link it up then you can also use the content distribution network which is the cdn and for the purposes of this demonstration we are going to use the cdn but later on i'm going to show you how you can download the source files then there's a boa and the npn um, options as well that I've named bootstrap inside bootstrap I have an index.html file over here now as it stands it is empty I'm going to open this up in VS code and this is what we have this index.html and inside index.html we are going to go into the browser and go to this website getbootstrap.com I'll leave the link in the description below so this is the official bootstrap website and we are going to grab the CDN and use that. So as you can see, there are quite some um, information over here. I will encourage you to spend time to read. It gives you some good information. Now what we are going to concentrate on is what we have over here. Now we can download as you can see over here or we can get started by clicking on this button over here. But one thing I would want to um, emphasize on is the fact that uh, we have this bit of information over here and it says currently um, it is at version 5.0.0 and it is at a beta 1 so what this simply means is well there is something you can do as far as bootstrap version 5 is concerned but then it is not complete people are testing and giving feedback as far as its functionality is concerned so you may run into some problems using this version especially at the beta stage so what I'll do is I'm going to click on the previous releases, this link over here. And it brings me here. So over here, I, I can see a number of bootstrap versions over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the latest among the version 4, which I have here as version 4.5. So I'll click on version 4.5 and it leads me here. Now once I come here, I can grab the CDN. And in order to do so, I'm just quickly going to grab this starter template. So I'm going to click on this to copy and I'll paste it here. So the question is, what do we have here? Let me close this up. So we just have our HTML structure. As you can see, doc type, HTML, and our normal things that we are quite used to. The one we have over here is we have the bootstrap css and there's actually a link so as you can see this is linking us to some cdn content delivery network and 
this contains the CSS. And the next most important thing that has to do with the JavaScript. So over here, you can see that we have two options that we can choose from. And we can either choose this or we can uncomment this and use this one as well. So any of them will work actually. So I would normally prefer using what has been given rather than changing things up. So with this, we have Bootstrap installed and we can start working with Bootstrap. One of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this up. This the title and I'm going to change this to Bootstrap. All right, so I have Bootstrap over here. I'll save this and I'll open this up in Live Server. So Live Server is an extension I've installed on my system. So what I can do is I can right click and given these options, I can click on open with Live Server. And this is going to open in my browser. So this is my browser and all that we have is hello world and the title that we've changed over here. Now this hello world is what has been given over here in an H1 tag. 